right. Good stuff. Okay. And Stephen um, asks, why are you a priest? Fundamentally, I was convicted that I was called to the priesthood. Um, that God created me to be a priest. And so um, I went in that direction. Um, some of the more just kind of um, personal things. Uh, when I was in high school, um, I, I I kind of entered into high school not really believing that much or perhaps just um, not caring that much is a better word for it, that I didn't know if this was the truth and I didn't really care if it was the truth. And um, there was a young priest that moved into my hometown and then also a, a married man who both, both um, were very patient with me. And as I was asking the big questions, they, they answered my questions. They just, um, yeah, they, they allowed me to be the punk teenager that I was um, and ask the questions and um, really work through uh, the faith and understand it well. The priest also was a very good teacher and a very good preacher. Um, and so what, what happened with all of that is I, I had this growing love for, for the knowledge of the truth. You know, I really encountered something unique there in, in the faith and I, and I loved it. And um, it was it's almost kind of surprising to me because I didn't really love it before, but as I, as I got to know it more, um, I loved it more and more and I had this desire to know um, more about my faith and to, to give that to other people. And then also my, my home parish had a 24 seven adoration chapel and my mom got Catholic guilted into being one of the, the like quarterly captains. And so it means that, you know, for six hours out of the day, she was responsible to make sure that there was somebody in the chapel praying and people were supposed to get their own substitutes, but every once in a while something would happen and my mom would have to be the one responsible to, you know, just kind of last minute get coverage for that time. And uh, after I turned 16, my sister was off in college. My dad was working in Wisconsin at the time. We were living in Texas. Uh, and so my mom would just send me to the chapel. She's like, oh, you're, you're fine. You're not doing anything. Go to the chapel. Somebody has to be in there. Um, and so, you know, when I started, I would just go and sit. And to be honest with you, I would just daydream. Um, in the chapel and then as i was learning more about my faith from these these two men and who you know um really teaching me a lot and pointing me to good books and things of that sort uh i i started to realize oh i think this might be god maybe i should start praying so i started to develop a prayer life and that intimacy with god and the depth of prayer and in silence was also something that uh i just found such such a great source of love um, there. And I realized that that was, um, yeah, truly the God who is love and desired to, to go deeper into that and to share that with other people. And then, um, also specifically in the sacraments of the Eucharist, uh, serving mass and receiving communion and, uh, the sacrament of confession, uh, found great freedom, um, and grace to overcome sins that I'd been struggling with when I was in high school and uh, just really overcome them one by one and see how the chains of uh, sin really can be broken through the sacraments. And so I had a deep love for the sacraments, a deep love for prayer, a deep love for the faith. Um, and all of those things just kind of obviously lined up very clearly that, yeah, it's time for me to, to at least try out this whole priesthood thing. And so I entered the seminary after one year, I went one year to the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, then went to the seminary, um, three years in Philadelphia, and then four years in the seminary in Rome. And then I went back one more year as a priest for my fifth year um, and really never had any serious doubts about uh, becoming a priest. There were definitely times when I thought to myself, this is a lot of work and I don't really want to do this. Um, <laughs> uh, but it was more just because I was being lazy at that time. You know, I never had a may have had a bad day once or twice, but never a bad week or a bad month or a bad year. Um, and yeah, I still love, love being a priest. I um, think it's the best life ever. I feel bad for um, people who get married. I think to myself, man, I don't know if I would like that. Um, not because it's not a beautiful and good thing, but just because I love uh, my life as a priest so much that I can't really think of anything else. Mm -hmm.